This is truly a remarkable case in the space rocket industry. Two former Blue Origin employees inspired by SpaceX left the company and founded another rocket company that completely knocked out the old one. They even have big plans to unseat SpaceX as the ruler of a booming industry. How crazy is their plan? How exactly do they humiliate Blue Origin? Let's expose it all and more in today's episode of Alpha Tech. But first, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and ring that icon bell so you never miss one of our videos. You might be surprised, but behind SpaceX, the world's second most valuable space company is not Blue Origin or Virgin Galactic. It's 3D printing rocket startup, Relativity Space. The company aims to eventually help colonize Mars. Relativity Space was founded by Ellis in 2015 with Chief Technology Officer Jordan Noon. Interestingly, Ellis worked on a 3D printed rocket component at Blue Origin, the space company founded by Amazon founder Jeff Bezos in 2000. But not Blue Origin, Elon Musk's space company SpaceX is his inspiration, Ellis said. I was inspired by watching SpaceX land rockets and dock with the ISS six years ago, he said. After SpaceX, Relativity is, quote, only the second space company in two decades, end quote, with the mission of making humanity multiplanetary and going to Mars. However, in every SpaceX animation, we saw a fade to black right when people walked out of the rocket on Mars, Ellis said. So what was clear is that there needed to be some other company building humanity's industrial base on Mars. Replicating the infrastructure for a million people that live on Mars is a massive undertaking, and I think a lot of people need to work on it. As a result, Relativity seeks to do this by pushing forward 3D printing technology. Ellis intends to disrupt the long-standing aerospace practice of using fixed tooling to manufacture rockets, which are then finished using a hands-on process adding thousands of parts. Relativity hopes to use what it learns about printing rockets on Earth to additively manufacture habitats and other materials on the surface of Mars. Even as Relativity Space seeks to augment the efforts by Musk and SpaceX to make humans a multi-planetary species, the company is also directly competing with its much more established rival. If successfully deployed, the Turan R would challenge SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket for both government and commercial launch contracts. However, Ellis said it would be a mistake to compare the Turan R rocket to the Falcon 9. The vehicle should be thought of more like a miniature version of SpaceX's Starship rocket with an upper stage that could transfer payloads through space, to the moon, and perhaps even Mars. In terms of appearance, too, it resembles Starship much more than Falcon 9. It's expected to start launching from Cape Canaveral as soon as 2024, once the business is up and running, Relativity plans to charge its customers roughly $12 million per launch. Let's compare to SpaceX, currently charging $62 million per launch of the Falcon 9 rocket, though Elon Musk recently said the company's Starship reusable rockets will cost less than $10 million within two to three years. The Turan R vehicle will have the first stage that lands on a drone ship at sea, and the second stage will retain its payload fairing after satellite separation. Tim Ellis revealed the news on June 6, 2022 on social media, explaining the 115-foot Turan 1 is by far the largest metal 3D printed product ever made and that he's stoked for the upcoming testing ahead of launch. Terran 1 has nine 3D printed booster engines and is also made mostly of aluminum. However, Relativity's claim to fame is 3D printing, and it says that even it's the very first Turan 1 rocket, it's 85% 3D printed by mass, and it's the largest single 3D printed object ever built. Turan 1 reportedly weighs around 9.3 tons, or 20,500 pounds empty. Standing at 110 feet or 35 meters tall with a diameter of 7.5 feet or 2.3 meters, Turan 1's whole primary structure is printed, Ellis said. Turan 1 can deliver a maximum payload of up to 2,756 pounds, 1,250 kilograms, to low Earth orbit. This is actually more believable than the promises of Jeff Bezos about New Glenn. For months, Ellis has reported on the progress of the company's rockets, engines, and in-house 3D printing manufacturing processes, as well as headway on Relativity's new 1 million square foot headquarters in Long Beach, California. Additionally, Relativity completed the acceptance testing for all nine Aeon-1 engines to power Turan-1's first stage, 
Like the other engines in Relativity's portfolio, Aeon 1 is 3D printed, enhancing mission reliability by reducing part count in engine combustion chambers, igniters, turbo pumps, reaction control thrusters, and vehicle pressurization systems. Moreover, all Aeon engines also use propellants of the future, that is, liquid oxygen and liquid natural gas, which the company says are best for rocket propulsion and easier to eventually make on Mars, where Relativity envisions an upgraded industrial base as one of its long-term goals. In fact, to learn and improve at an exponential pace, Relativity realized from the get-go that it needed 3D printing technology to speed up rocket production and catch up to other firms in the industry, namely SpaceX and Blue Origin. That's why the company prints 24 hours a day, resulting in what it describes as unprecedented iteration and innovation. Relativity headquarters are equipped with a direct-to-metal laser centering, or DMLS, printers, as well as dozens of the company's proprietary Stargate 3D printers, the largest metal 3D printers in the world. With upcoming software changes, Relativity Stargate printers can print both Terran 1, the world's first entirely 3D printed launch vehicle, and the fully reusable, altogether 3D printed rocket, Terran R. To accelerate innovation in the industry, Relativity built what it calls the Factory of the Future, the first aerospace platform to automate rocket manufacturing, vertically integrating intelligent robotics, software, and data-driven 3D printing technology. By printing 95% of the rocket, Relativity could slash a rocket builder's traditional supply chain and need as many as 100 times fewer parts. There would also be no need to have inventory sitting on the shelf. Indeed, the company believes it will eventually reach the point where it can go from raw material to flight in 60 days. A single printer can print about one foot in the length of the rocket, which is 110 feet tall, per day. With six printers, a rocket could be printed in two weeks. As the world's first 3D printed rocket makes its way to space, it'll be exciting to follow the journey as it lifts off for the first time at the end of 2022. The milestone is significant in many ways, primarily because Turin 1's launch will mark the world's first entirely 3D printed rocket to go to space, and because GLFH will be the first launch from LC-16 since March 21, 1988. The site was one of four launch complexes built in support of Titan missile testing and previously supported 26 missions spread between Titan 1, Titan 2, and Pershing launch vehicles. Finally, it's also a time when the whole world witnessed a fledgling company go into orbit before an industry giant that's more than 20 years old. Blue Origin certainly regrets letting such talent go. Anyway, from now on, they should have better treatment for their employees. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode of Alpha Tech. Don't forget to share your ideas in the comments section. Everyone's support is motivation for us to create more quality content. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.